Top 7 Best Small Mouse 2023 Through extensive research and testing I have put together the list of options that will meet the need of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or particular use we have got you covered. For more information I have put links of products in the description, make sure to check it out. Like the video, comment, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get started. Number 7. Corsair Ironclaw RGB. All kinds of people game, but not all gaming mice will suit them. If you have larger hands and find some mice to be on the small side, the Corsair Ironclaw RGB should be your first port of call. This is one of the wider mice in Corsair's lineup, and an excellent bit of hardware that'll serve you well for both work and play. As you'd expect from Corsair, the Ironclaw is of the highest quality in terms of its build. Put together from a variety of sturdy materials ranging from grippy rubber to smooth matte plastic, it's a winner in terms of ergonomics. A sturdy, braided cable also helps reinforce that feeling of quality. It's no slouch when it comes to features, either. It offers an enviable 18,000 dpi sensor with a tolerance of 400 IPS, meaning it'll still be able to track your movements when the mouse is hurtling across your mat. Additionally, the click action of each button is tactile and satisfying. That makes the Ironclaw RGB a real contender for the prize of best gaming mouse. We did run into a few problems with the button placement in our testing. There's a pair of thumb buttons running along the left side of the device, which are placed well enough to encourage accurate pressing, but one was placed just a little too far back for comfort. We found ourselves having to curl our thumb back in order to hit it, which isn't recommended if you're going to be mapping macros for FPS or faster action titles. Number 6. Rocket Cone XP. The RGB available on the Rocket Cone XP certainly won't be for everyone, but if you're looking to maximize your LED to price ratio, you'll need to check out this 90S inspired pointer. We were initially skeptical of this blinding design, but once our eyes adjusted we found that the unique aesthetic combined with the smoky effect of the translucent plastic was surprisingly pleasing. Of course, those LED don't distract from the excellent performance under the hood. We were particularly impressed by the placement and usability of the additional side buttons here. Each of the four main macro buttons and the additional thumb button running along the left-hand side were easy to hit and, crucially, easy to hit accurately. Unlike the Corsair Scimitar RGB Elite below and the Razer Naga Pro above, you're not getting a full keypad of additional functions. However, with an extra layer of functionality accessible via Rocket's Easy Shift button, there's a whole world of customization open to you. We're recommending the Cone XP as the best gaming mouse for RGB lovers, but it's important to note that this is from a brute force angle, rather than in terms of customization. It still feels like the Swarm software is catching up, which means we were a little disappointed to realize that you can't actually change the colors of these RGB strips. However, there are plenty of cycles to choose from, and the overall effect may be too good to turn down. Number 5. Razer Naga V2 Pro. The Razer Naga V2 Pro picks up where the original Pro model left off. Three swappable side plates offering button configurations suited to a massive range of genres, making for an incredibly versatile device. At $179.99 slash pzone 179.99, though, this isn't going to be one for those to dip in and out of everyday play. The Naga V2 Pro is a pricey one, but if you're as invested in MMO as your other genres, it's a worthwhile pickup. Packing a 30K sensor, which offered super responsive tracking and particularly nippy response times in our testing, and a customizable scroll wheel, there are plenty of enhancements here over the original model. Razer has added a HyperScroll Pro wheel to its pointer. Not only does that grant you access to an additional three programmable buttons for a total of up to 20, but the wheel can switch between six different scrolling modes. Tension and scroll speed can be customized to change the feel and control level of the wheel altogether, stepping between tighter notches and free spinning movement. While that's not a make or break feature, it's a nice to have that kicks enduring productivity uses as well. Yes, the squat form factor takes some getting used to, but it proves comfortable after some muscle memory reworking. However, the heavier weight means faster paced first person shooter titles are a little difficult to work with. We found that the 134G footprint and larger domed hump kept the Naga V2 Pro from being truly nimble on the battlefield, but still provides a solid experience for everyday play. Number 4. Razer Viper V2 Pro. 
Taking over from the Razer Viper Ultimate, the V2 Pro throws everything out the window. Literally there's no RGB, only two additional macro buttons, and no wireless charging cradle here, just a laser-focused dedication to speed and precision. That, of course, makes it a prime candidate for anyone after a super lightweight wireless pointer designed purely for FPS play. While the overall design language of the Ultimate remains here, there are a few smaller details that have changed to dramatically reduce the weight from 74G to just 58G. We noted lack of side grips in our testing those stickers are provided, just in the wrong color if you happen to grab the white model, as well as the slightly shorter dome along the top. Still, this pointer slotted straight back into our hands, and we were flying across the Apex Legends battlefield in no time. Number 3. Razer Death Adder Vitwo. It seemed like an impossible task, but the Razer Death Adder V2 improves on and even surpasses the classic Death Adder in practically every way. To begin with, it's among the most comfortable mice we've had our hands on. It's perfect for any grip style, from claw to palm, but it's also phenomenally precise. The latest releases keeps the same form factor as the original Razer Death Adder, but brings that design into the modern age with a few crucial tweaks. We particularly enjoy the design change in the textured grips. While the original model offers a larger hexagonal set set of ridges, the smaller bumps and tighter feel of the new grip is far more satisfying and tactile. There's also additional programmable buttons on here, with two new DPI shifters located underneath the scroll wheel. The V2 packs a 20,000 DPI sensor that's leaps and bounds ahead of the competition. It's accompanied by a 650 inches per second rating as well, so it'll still perform brilliantly even if you're flinging it across your mouse mat. Although it's lacking additional controls like some of its competition on this list namely the Rocket Cone XP and Razer Naga Pro, the two extra thumb buttons on the side are well placed enough that you won't need to worry about hitting them accidentally in the middle of a battle. Number 2. Logitech G203 LightSync. Want to avoid breaking the bank? We'd recommend the Logitech G203 LightSync. As well as being aggressively affordable, it's the best gaming mouse for those on a budget balancing a decent feature set with that low cost. In fact, its competition generally only comes from the Razer Viper Mini and the Razer Death Adder V2 Mini. The Logitech G203 LightSync, however, is cheaper than the Death Adder V2 Mini and offers a larger body than the Viper Mini, which will satisfy a wider range of grip types. We did still find that chassis to be a little too small for larger hands in our own testing, though thanks to the 85G weight we were able to get along with both the claw and fingertip grip through multiple rounds of Apex Legends. Beneath the shell, you're treated to a satisfying but quick click thanks to responsive switches to go with six programmable buttons. These are supported by an optical sensor that provides a DPI ranging from 200 to 8000. Although this isn't as high performance as other entries on the list, it's more than enough for most people. Plus, it'll still be a huge step up compared to normal non-gaming mice. Number 1. Razer Basilisk V3. Unless you're playing competitively, it's difficult to beat the Razer Basilisk V3 in terms of sheer power and value. That 26k DPI sensor is definitely a nice to have though in our testing we rarely needed to dial up to that kind of level, but the main draws here are the wide range of programmable buttons, unique RGB underglow, and tactile ergonomic design. It also helps that the V3 comes in $10 cheaper than the previous iteration. At its core, though, the latest Razer Basilisk is the same versatile pointer that we've always come to love from one of the best Razer mouse lines. With upgraded second generation switches in each main button, an additional trigger button on the left hand side, and a brand new smart scroll wheel, though, there are plenty of new features to celebrate here. We found those new switches to be a little lighter to the touch than previous iterations, but we're impressed that they still manage to keep a satisfying response and snap back quickly. So guys, that's all for Top 7 Best Small Mouse 2023. The links of all products are given in the description, which are updated for the best prices. Subscribe our channel for more videos. We will meet in next video till then take care bye.